Hi, my name is Ted Benito. I'm the executive director of the Apple D App Foundation, and you're watching Fan TV. <laughs> Disney in the present with Fan TV, and I'm here with. Hi, my name is Ted Benito. I'm the executor of the Apple D App Foundation International. It's an honor to actually interview you. I've, I've, I've seen you all, all over Facebook. You do so many things, man. I don't know how you do it, but you make us Filipino and Filipino Americans proud, man, because what you're doing and, and all the events that you've been doing for the community is outstanding. Tell us a little about what you do. We don't have three years for me to give you life, Dean. <laughs> but in a, nuts in a nutshell, okay, my mission as a producer and as a director, part-time, is to promote, present, and produce the talents of the Filipino Americans, okay? There are lots of producers that do the Filipino shows and mm -hmm. promote Filipino talent from the Philippines, but I thought that there was a need to shine a light on Filipino American talent, mean, meaning that uh, people that were born and raised here from yes. Filipino heritage, because sometimes, you know, they don't have methods or inroads or connections to be able to get into the mainstream and make a difference. So that's my personal mission. Man, you know what? I'm, I'm proud to hear that because I started the first Filipino American Network TV channel in history in the Bay Area, mm -hmm. and I'm Fan TV Global Network right now where we represent the Filipino Americans were, I understand that we're mixed with black, white, Chinese, Latin, so on, right? So by building diversity, unity, collaboration, I was able to give a voice in the face. And uh, I know one of our good friends, uh, Mark Polito, also is, believes in the Phil Lambs. And I, tell me a little about that. I know you guys are good friends too. Mark and I actually went to the same school. Alma mater is UCLA, go Bruins! <laughs> uh, he was about two or three years behind me in, in, in class. And, and he's actually the very, very first Filipino American that was elected student body president of UCLA and he is currently the mayor of Cerritos. Um, so he's been a leader, a pioneer, a role model for me, believe it or not. Um, and then in, re in, re in return, he tells everybody that I'm his mentor. That, you know, that he got his training in politics from days at, at UCLA Samahang Filipino and all that stuff. But, you know, it, no matter what or who's doing whatever, we're all like in this together. Yeah. I have to have a collective view, whether it be talent, politics, sports, business, religion, you know, we're, uh, entertainment. We are all in this together. So there is a need to support each other across uh, lines like that, across different areas uh, of, of society, because we elevate one, we elevate the other. You're, you're absolutely right, man. And, you know, we're very honored again to uh, work with you and have you here. What we can do to support you or, you know, any events that uh, we're looking forward towards to seeing. Right. Well, um, and I don't, unfortunately, next month is the one year anniversary of uh, Typhoon Haiyan that uh, devastated the Philippines uh, last year. And Apple has made it one of his goals to help. Um, Helping Haiyan victims is not really part of what his foundation does. His, mm -hmm. his foundation in the Philippines, as well as here, we focus on educating. Educating children that don't have access um, to education, curriculum, technology, resources to be the best that they can be. But we've had to divert our resources to helping the Haiyan victims because it was just so tragic, so devastating, and because there were so many people that were devastated. So one of the things that the foundation did is we started a PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, music and art theory therapy project because what we found was that the kids that were learning, some of whom are orphaned, some of whom have, you know, lost either their parents or sibling or, or are just completely alone in this world, are traumatized. Every time there's rain, every time there's wind, they shake, they lose their focus, and they cannot learn what the teacher's talking about. So we taught the teachers how to care, how to identify and care for students that have PTSD. So that's one of the major, and that's been a program that has been so successful. We, I think we did about 150 schools Wow, uh, in, or something like that, or and or teachers in the whole Tacloban area. So we want to bring it to Leyte and to other devastated parts, so that it's it's institutionalized. It's a sustainable way of saying we now have the resources to deal with disaster that affects the mind. Because some people, you know, building a house, mm -hmm. you know, getting food. That's we, everybody can do that. Right. But what we sometimes forget is that there is trauma associated with natural disasters, and Apple wanted to fix that. So that's, what, that's one of the big projects that we're working on. 
Man, that's awesome. You know what? I think everything you touch is, is always successful. I, I see what you do. You do so much for the community. Now, man, if I know a lot of people probably, uh, they see what you do. And if people wanted to follow you or, or even support you, is there a... Uh, like a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, they can follow you on? Yeah, everybody's welcome to follow me, uh, well, to like me or friend me on Facebook, but for Apple stuff, because I need to I need to support what we're doing, mm -hmm. uh, you can go to the appletheappfoundation.org or forfilipinochildren.com, that's F-O-R, filipinochildren.com. Um, that's our campaign for Filipino children. This, this is the, the other project that we're working on. Um, I don't know if most people know, but Apple is legally blind. He was born with a condition called nystagmus, which means it's a, it's a condition that has uh, rapid eye movement, and he can, he can barely see in front of him, which makes what he does on stage wow. with the Black Eyed Peas. If you notice, his very first tour on the Black Eyed Peas, they carried the same stage mm -hmm. because he was familiar with the depth of this, where the stage was, otherwise he's gonna fall off the stage, oh, wow. right? So. He's starting, we're starting a program where we are providing medical technology as well as medical knowledge to identify, um, uh, protect, and or treat what's called retinopathy of prematurity. What we're finding out is that there's about um, a good percentage of premature babies born in the Philippines that have the tendency mm -hmm. to go blind. Wow. Now, if you're below the poverty level in the Philippines and you have a blind child, you have no economic future because in the Philippines, your future are your children. And if they can't see, they can't work. They can't get educated. You know, the family basically stops. So we're trying to prevent that. We're trying to bring medical technology and medical knowledge so that the doctors and the ophthalmologists, of which there are only five in the entire country of the Philippines, out of a population of how many million that can detect and treat retinopathy of prematurity. So we're bringing this to four hospitals in the next two years, and then we're going to spread it out to the whole country and hopefully treat more. That's Apple's pet project because it's personal to him. You heard that, guys? Let's support that cause, and you're watching Fan TV.